Hey guys, this is take two. Uh, apparently the other video only ran for um, 55 seconds. So I'm going to try and do another update. So today is Saturday. It is 6.56 a.m. And I'm going to try and do this video again for you guys. Alright, so. Um, and it was a good rant on that video too. I didn't realize it had only recorded for 55 seconds. Um, so, I'm going to start with finished items. And I only have two finished items. And both of them are messy bun hats. So, one is knit and one is crochet. So, that's the crochet one. And this is the knit one. Okay, so we're off to a good start. It's still showing. I'm going to keep a track, an eye on the timer to, um, and yes, they are in black. And luckily it wasn't something you had to pay attention to, this actual stitches, because, um, yeah, probably would have went blind. The other items I have, they are semi-finished because they haven't been applied. So... <clears throat> I purchased um, some Hobby Lobby yarn, which was actually roving, and one of them was uh, polyamide, nylon, and wool. I think it's like 15% wool content. And that's this one. The stuff spins like butter. That's all I have to say. Um, I will be spinning more of this bump here and there because it spins so fine. Um, fiber tells you what it wants to be. If you can't get your fiber to draft out nice and neat and easy, then it wants to be lumpy, bumpy, clumpy yarn. So stop fighting what the fiber wants to be. All fiber was not meant to be fine yarn. Okay? So this is some blue face, some BFL, blue face Leicester. 20, uh, Maryland Sheep and Wool 2016. Whenever I go to Maryland Sheep and Wool and I buy stuff, I usually put a, a date, um, the year on the bag so I know what year I purchased from Maryland Sheep and Wool. And 2016 was the last time that I went to Maryland Sheep and Wool. Um, hopefully I might be able to go this year, but you never know. And so this was a, another BFL. And this BFL is from the Little Red Barn. And, um, Yeah, I bought a thing of white, of just white too that I'm going to be um, spinning. I want to spin it and then dye it. So, but that was that one. And then I have this one, which is also some Hobby Lobby big yarn, but it's not yarn. It's actually roving. And um, I spun this, and the colors, this is just some of the colors that are showing up, but this is a real pretty. I'm going to spin some more of this, and um, because it's, it's, this is going to be some really, really, really pretty yarn, pretty yarn. And I think this one is all, I can't find the labels for either book, but I, this was 100% acrylic, I'm pretty sure. So that's what I've been doing spinning-wise. I had to order new seal bearings for my spinning wheel which is why I haven't been spinning I replaced all the upper bearings with the flyer and I might end up having to replace one of the lower bearings um but then again I still have some of my old bobbins and when I have my wheel upgraded to the queen bee though it just they just don't seat snug in there anymore and uh so yeah so it, it just a little rattle from just the bobbins wrapping a little, but they still spin, so I still use them. Um, the next thing, unfinished projects. It's early, and I'm not sleepy, I'm just tired. So, yeah. So the next project I'm working on is the kindness shawl, and it's a little bit bigger than it was the last time I showed this. I'm almost ready to do my next. Well, actually, I think I am on my next. 
after I finish this pearl row, uh, I will be on my row 121, you know, row 45. And that will be my next um, eyelet row. So, it's coming along. It's a simple pattern. The, the trim is more complicated than the actual shawl pattern itself. And I have two rows of um, eyelets so far. And my next row of eyelets will be after I finish this wrong side row. But I'm having, I had, I had to figure out where I had stopped at. This, yeah, this fire was getting everywhere. It's making this. So I had to figure out where did I stop at. And then I had to go from there. Count the stitches and all that good stuff. And uh, don't ask me how this came. I'm doing, I don't know. It was in my bag. So yesterday, my friend's husband, Patrick. He retired from the Navy, and I didn't get to go to the ceremony because I was at work, but my husband went to the ceremony and to represent the McCants family, and it was very beautiful, he said. That's what we went over to their house when I got off from work. My husband came and picked me up and went over to their house, and they had friends and family from out of town there, so I got to meet one of his brothers, his mom his father-in-law, Ash Ashley's mom was there, and her new husband, and her mom is tiny, oh my god, she is so cute and tiny, Oh, so, this is the hat that I've been working on, remember I tried to do it with this yarn, but this yarn is too, just too red, it didn't have enough browns in the in the yarn, to, and it just even though I kind of liked the way it looked, I did, I just wasn't coupled with the way it looked. So I unravel that, and so this is some brown encore yarn. It's the only I think it's the only skein of only worsted weight skein of uh, brown encore I had. So I chose that instead, and I like that a lot better. So that's going to stay. So they're going to stay together. And I just need to finish the hat. So the next thing that I haven't worked on any um, is my fingers gloves in the alpaca. Hand, the hand spun alpaca is the brown. You can see it's kind of sparkly. It got, they call it, they call it in Britain, Lorex. Lorex. But it is got sparkles in the alpaca. You can kind of see it. And then this is just some um, blue Icelandic wool that I purchased when I first started learning how to knit. And I never knew what to do with it because it was so skinny before I started making socks. And so, but it looks really good with this brown. And so it has, I haven't worked on it. I need to clean my desk off again. Alright, so that's who knows when I'm going to start working on that again. And then I did this sapper for a blanket pattern that I think, you know, and I like that pattern, so I might actually crochet something, a bigger blanket pattern for that. And um, let's see. The hat, the shawl. Those are my two active pro most active projects. I haven't done any more to Bemo's star blanket, which is made out of scraps. And so I just need to add a little bit more to that so I can give it to the cat. <laughs> yeah. So that's Bemo's. And I'm, I got some yarn I think I'm going to use for that. And then there was this virus shawl. And it's it's for the baby. It's for the baby. And so I just need to weave in the ends and add it to her um her box of, of baby baby stuff. So it's they technically it's finished. <clears throat> and 
and then I was working on this star blanket and it's almost as big as I want it to be and it is for a pregnant friend I just need to block it after I add a couple more rows of this green to it and then I'm going to block it and it'll be ready to be given to her uh, and the other work in progress is my Bavarian stitch blanket so I ran the this is the last of the premier sweet roll right here there's not enough to go around this blanket this blanket they call them a wool pig or wool eater if you got a bunch of scraps you want to get rid of or half half pieces skeins you want to get rid of this is the pattern to use it for so I have two skeins of purples that kind of match the purples that were in the sweet roll and it's just it's rare heart super saver but it don't feel like any rare heart super saver I ever bought before it's really really soft both of them are very soft so kudos to you rare heart for finally getting with the program um so it's these two yarns that I'm going to put in to finish this blanket and uh, so yeah so those are my Oh yeah, my socks are somewhere. They're, they're a work in progress too. I actually worked on my socks when I was in... Where are they? When I was in... Not Las Vegas. When I was in Leesburg, Virginia. While we were on the bus, I actually worked on my socks. And I'm at the point now where I have to try them on so that I can see if I need to try them on and see if I need to start my toe decreases. <clears throat> and I don't see them. And they got my favorite needles on. Huh. I know they're in here. We'll find them. But anyway, they are the in the Fox Glove colorway. And they're around here somewhere. Uh yeah. But I did work on my socks. And I'm mad because usually I can just put my hands on stuff. And I can't do that today. And that is frustrating. That tells you I need to put yarn that I took down to see if I like the color combinations for stuff. I need to put that yarn back up and I need to like this is empty. Oh, that's still out some I need to go through like my, all my medications and stuff and empty stuff needs to get tossed and expire stuff needs to get tossed and things just need to get put back into their proper place. Especially now that I'm spinning again, I need to get stuff put back in its proper place. I can't believe it. It just ain't right there. Right here, you put your hand. Oh, it's right here in my face, y'all. Okay. All right. So. So yeah. So what I did was I marked where my afterthought healed row is just like I marked it with these stitch markers and then I um I probably knit three stripes on the bus 
So I got to that point. And it's not like I can comfortably take my shoes off, take my sock off, and try on my sock on the bus um, on the way home. And so, yeah. So I'm at the point where I'm going to be trying these on today. See where my afterthought heel markers fall. And then I'm going to start decreasing for my toe. I still don't think I have. I have a long, I have a long feet. I have big feet. Sharon's made socks made before. She knows. So I think I might have to do maybe one more stripe. Because that, just looking at I mean, it's, the yarn isn't as stretchy as you would. Because it's not bulletproof, but it's a nice fabric. And, um, yeah. So those are, the, that's the progress on my socks. So yes, Sharon, I actually knitted on my socks. Ha ha. So yeah, that's all I have going on. Oh, what am I currently spinning? I'm spinning the rest of that braid of uh, Dragonfly Fibers. It is a Polworth silk. And it has, I think it said 20 some percent silk. It seems like more because this, this stuff has been very flyaway. So that's what I'm spinning right now on the wheel. I actually had six or seven spindles that I started spindle spinning this on. So that's what it's looking like now. It's like it's her heirloom tomato colorway, and the red is a lot brighter than. I mean, it's more vibrant. It's kind of muted, showing up kind of muted. But it's more vibrant than that in real life. And yay, we're at 16 minutes, so it's still recording. <clears throat> so, so, yeah. And this is also a 2016 Merlin Sheep and Wool purchase. And I have another thing of Dragonfly Fiber. And this one is in the, it's the Colors of Happiness. And on the label it says heirloom tomatoes. So I have another braid of it to spin. So that'll be two braids of it. And that's it. That's all I have going on. Um what was I ranting about? City of Norfolk gave my daughter a parking ticket for parking in our yard, the side yard. It's not the driveway. It's right beside the driveway, and she parked over there. They gave her a ticket. Now, I know y'all heard other rants where I ranted about my neighbors driving through my yard, parking in part of my yard and part of their yard, but driving through my yard to the point where it left started leaving a path through my yard. The city never came and gave them tickets. As much as I complain, they never gave them tickets. But my daughter parks over there and she gets a ticket. Yeah. So I was I was I was very hot when that happened. Because they do what they want to do to who they want to do it to. They don't they don't like just like the shipyard people down there, they park in a no parking zone every day. Every day, ain't no meter maids riding down there giving them people tickets, and they park there every day in a no parking zone. And they don't do nothing about that. But you're gonna come and drive through my neighborhood, and you see my daughter's car parked on on my property. I have to pay taxes on, and this this isn't a, a HOA neighborhood. This isn't a um, POA neighborhood, so we don't have any housing associations or none of that stuff. And you're gonna give my daughter a ticket. That's what I was saying in the other video. Like, you know, if I was in a position where I could just up and move, give my tax dollars to somebody else, I would. Believe me, I would. I'd be like, screw you, bye. <laughs> so maybe I'll be in a position one day I could just up and move. So, but anyway, that's all that I have going on. That was my little rant and and um everything. And so I'm gonna let you guys go. And I'm going to get back to spinning because I want to finish spinning up this braided fiber. Uh, 
today. Um, so there'll be another bobbin that's cleaned off. Uh, not cleaned off, but there'll be another braid of fiber that's no longer in my stash. So I, I had done pretty good until 2016. I had almost spun up all my commercial in you know fiber, fiber any dye fiber and stuff like that. And then it's just like I don't know. I didn't lose my spinning mojo. I just stopped spinning the the fiber that wasn't fiber that I had dyed or my natural color fibers that I have. So that's what I'm trying to do now. Get all this stuff spun up this year so that I can just work on my stash. Um, beautiful fibers that I really want to spin, but I feel guilty spinning it when I got all this. It's not like a lot. It's less than it's less than um, $100, $200 worth of fiber. Probably more around a $100 range if I added all of it up. It's just the fact that I need to spin it. <laughs> so that I can go ahead and get it spun up and out of my way so I can work on stuff I want to work on. So same thing with my acrylic. I want to work on things I want to work on so I want to hurry up and get this acrylic taken care of which means I'm probably making a bunch of blankets this year. Um, colorful blankets. And I'm probably going to use traditional grain stitch so it goes like goes fast. But that's it. So I'm going to let you guys go. You take care. Um, sorry that I didn't notice that the video has stopped recording. Uh, so this one will go up in its place. And uh, sorry for my viewers who left me messages. Wow, that really was a fast video. Ha ha. Yes, it was. But it's gone now. It was taken down. So now you guys get the real deal. Alright? So just behave. If you behave, Barb, I'll behave. <laughs>